warahmatullahi wabarakatuh good evening friends so today we are going to see the how we can create the api in python django i already created some api so i will just configure and i will show you thank you first we can create the project start project ERP I created one project with the name of ERP and we can go in the ERP project we can create here or I have already apps I will copy I will open the project this project contains the settings.py file py file url url.py file so we can just change this file and we can just copy our project our, which I already created before and I will show you the demo of this ERP just we copy here now it is showing all the in settings.py file what we have to do was we have to add the app or register the apps or apps so these are our apps rest framework demo general rest framework and all our apps name inventory account sales and django rest framework we are installing from like is pip install django rest framework this is website also available one you can we can see there can go on the website here all the documentation is available installation this one then go to framework you can run this one here already I run this so it is no need to do it and inventory sales and account this three small just for showing the API how your API is working I create these three apps small apps just for one one model like accounts have only chart of account and voucher model what we are doing actually we are creating the models in Python then after that for creating API we are, we are making the serializer serializer what it is doing actually serializer is actually working it is converting the python data in json data form so there are two three uh, two method main method main type of way of creating the serializer one is using the model serializer and there is another is a uh, serializer normal serializer dot serializer like like here na, serializer dot Serializer. So these two way we are using. But if we are using the model so dot serializer, so it what is the benefit? So no need to write all the field name. All the things will come here, and we can also do over all the all the all the here methods here. We can write. So first we can create the serializer. Then 
we can create the URLs view and URL there are too many way of creating the views in Django Django is framework one way actually uh, we have it is we de actually depending on what we are using if we are we are using which type of authentication and authorization system if we are using the because I am using the simple JWT authorization no? so that's why we have to install this one also in our settings.py file <coughs> and permission actually this permission is the also we can I am using the Django permission so it's authenticated it is a permission so this is the actually view model view set query set we are defining the query set serializer serializer what serializer I created here chart of account serializer so it is showing here so yeah. chart of account serializer it's showing here and in view I am calling this so what it is doing it is called in the model view set all the things are things are written we are, we are just doing the inheritance of this class and we are defining our, our query set and our serializer authentication what authentication we are using and permission and we are we can also override here our methods or or other methods we can override like i show you in my inventory i created one method also so here is a watcher watcher also in accounts i created watcher this one simple another one is inventory here I created unit of measurement product simple and inventory inventory model inventory type receive or issued I or R R means received I for issued simple table and serializer for this and third one sales sales also we have a simple customer sales and cust and sales in sales model sales view I, I write another method also here create method what it is doing when we are doing the calling the sale and we are creating the sale so it is also doing the working for inventory it is also minus the inventory from here so this is actually the logic of this one so now I am going to try to create the compile the, all my work that I will put this rest framework now I am using the rest framework symbol JWT I will put the setting of this one in my settings.py file for when creating the token so we are going to increase the time of the token we are using the token JWT token here for authentication this URL path we can copy in URL
and try to call this one. Serializer, what is there here in accounts? So actually what we need, we need the authentication, we are using a simple JWT authentication system. No? So we for accessing this URL we need authentication. So I will try to use the postman for we are we have the URL for that. I show you here in this is actually REST framework from JWD GET token GET token using this we can get the token method we are using the post method for getting the token Sorry. this one get token and key value also we can give here user id i think forget user id user admin password admin so if i am it not here in body sorry found data i will put the here sorry user admin username sorry username username admin password admin and no active account found for this to access this one first one two seven admin I have to create this open user also Python manage dot page super user admin admin yes from from beginning actually I am doing all the things admin admin now we are all over showing over all things or all 
tables so what I can do again I will do it now refresh token this is actually token given by postman by Django authentication sorry so we can create new here we can put serialization barrier token token we can write here barrier token we can write here and here we can put the URL for example I want to post something so I will inventory inventory model I will see any data there is no data so I will here I will go and body found data inventory column inventory model I will go or in small first I will go in product because I don't have product register no? product product UOM I, UOM but even I will go first for unit of measurement UOM UOM here I will put UOM unit of measurement and value I put here PS KG sorry KG and I will check the path here from here I will check the path path for inventory unit of measurement path what is the path here actually for unit of measurement I didn't create the URL so from back end I will put here one unit of measurement like uh, AD save then I will go for product I will create product no product is created no? so here we can go we can see the product Main URL is what is INV. From INV, it will go to this URL product. Now I will try to check in Postman. Maybe token will expire. So then again, I have to write a refresh. Here I will put product ID, unit of measure, UOM ID, KG product ID the field name I will check here in model my name two fields sorry name onion kg I will see PK receive STR uh, I have to 
put the ID sorry because you need a measurement ID not name this ID is 1 if I will go in SQL so it will show us ID is 1 so I will put here ID this is description I was adding now I will see the result token is expired so now again I will generate the token and refresh the token I will generate again now for a long instead of refresh this new token came postman I go authorization token token put uh, here body okay. it is created here ID one you can see a product new product came here only in 5 kg bag not the measurement kg okay. now I will put another unit of measurement I will put here I will create new unit of measurement box and I will create another product here First, I will show you the SQL. My actually, I don't have SQL. SQL light browser. Maybe I have. I will check. I installed before. I think SQL uh, DB browser for SQL. I have. I will show you from backend. So in the meantime, I will. Okay, it is open now. Uh, now we can see here open database D drive we, I mean, we are using by default Django is using uh, SQLite but we can change also this one here you can see unit of measurement uh, here is the unit of measurement this one you see here one and two from here we can also insert from SQL like here insert like from here so select we can select from here table name actually what is the table name inventory underscore UI is coming now so I will create another product from data product of measurement 2 created here you can see in database also product it is the inventory product actually this one here so like this we are using the APIs this API na, what this is this API first this is authentication so front end user will use the authentication system we are providing Django is the one is the best uh, Django REST framework is the one of the best uh, API creation framework. No? There are three frameworks. One is Express, Express I think Express JS. One is this one and one is Java. Is uh, Java Java I think. Boot Sprint I think maybe. So but. Django is very good for fintech companies are using this one so and 
for creating the APIs, na? it is very good. So this one. Thank you very much for watching the video. That's it for today.